Welcome back guys to another video and today we are going to talk about dual mining and what does it mean. So if you go to harder details on your nice hash miner and click on your GPU, you can see that you have few dual mining options with the Dagger Hashimoto. You have Dagger Hashimoto Decred, Pascal and Sia options. You might see that they are more profitable than mining Dagger Hashimoto on its own because you are making more bitcoins per day than you would be making just by mining Dagger Hashimoto. Because if you mine just Dagger Hashimoto, you are making 0.0002 bitcoins and you are making about 10 to 20% more if you are mining in dual mining mode. But it's not so simple because when you mine more, more than one coin at the same time, you are actually using more electricity. And to taste that, we are going to use hardware info to monitor our GPU. And we are going to see right here in GPU power how much power we are currently using while mining different algorithms. So right now, when we are idling and using just Shadow Play to record, we are using only 23 watts of power. And this GPU can go up to 250 watts of power. So that is the maximum that we can hit. And you can see that right here that the maximum we ever hit was 255 watts watts of power. So how does actually dual mining work and why is it more profitable to mine two coins at the same time than just one? So the thing is that different algorithms use different parts of your GPU and so you can mine more of them at the same time. If let's say one algorithm is real dependent on memory clocks and the other one is real dependent on the core clocks, then you can mine two of them at the same time better than it would be just to mine one coin because half of your GPU would just be sitting and idling while let's say memory clock would do all the job. And the easiest way to explain that is if you take an empty glass and you fill it with marbles, the glass is full, but it can always be fuller because if you fill it up with sand, all that little places that remain empty between the marbles now get filled with sand. So you're actually using 100% of your glass compared to maybe 90% if you would just fill it up with marbles. It's a little difference, but it really makes a big difference on your profitability if, let's say, you have more than 10 or 20 GPUs. And then if you would mine 10% more per month, it would mean that maybe you can pay off your GPU in 9 months instead of 10 months. Now let's get on with the testing. First we are going to just test Dagger Hashimoto and see how much electricity we are using and what is our profitability. So let's click benchmark and quick and now take a look at GPU power right here. Wait for it to stabilize and it should stabilize around 200 watts. Okay. So the stable amount is 190 watts. This is what I always get and this is the reliable number right here. And then if we stop it right now and then let's test something else like Dagger Hashimoto and Decred and see how much we are spending now. So take a look here and it should stabilize at around 230 watts of electricity to 250 watts. So currently we are getting around 250 watts of electricity compared to 190 watts when we are just mining Dagger Hashimoto. So that would mean that we are spending 25% more in electricity compared to just mining Dagger Hashimoto and we are only getting just about maybe 15% more. But if you take a look at Dagger Hashimoto and Sia and we run a benchmark right here and we are going to see that we are using again about 250 watts of electricity compared to 190 watts on Dagger Hashimoto and we are getting only about, about the same amount of Bitcoin as we would get with Dagger Hashimoto. Sometimes this number is a little bit higher, about maybe 5 to 10 percent and the algorithm switching automatically switches to mining Dagger Hashimoto with Sia compared to Dagger Hashimoto and you are making only 5 percent more in Bitcoin but you are actually paying 25 to 35% more in electricity. And then you might think that Dagger Hashimoto and Sia is more profitable, but you are actually making less money combined after electricity than you would make just by mining Dagger Hashimoto. So these are things that you should not concern with, with maybe if you have only 10 GPUs, but if you have a giant mining farm with 100 or 1000 GPUs, then this is really something that you should consider and think about it. Now, if you, you can just leave it like this, uh, select all the algorithms and let the nice hash do the job. But if you want to save that extra few bucks per month, you can just deselect the Hashimoto with dual mining options and just mine Ethereum directly without other coins. 
So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about this video and see you soon. Bye.